Hi, my name is Brittany J. Jones. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to do a front fly zipper. A front fly zipper can be really intimidating, but I'm gonna show you in this step-by-step -step tutorial just how easy it can be to install. There are a few things that you must do for a better install. Number one is to make sure that you transfer all of your markings. Those little circles are a key to having a great install and it's also important to stop exactly at them. If you go over by even one stitch, it could mess you up. So make sure that you stop directly at your circles and also transfer those notches. You also want to make sure that you press precisely when it's time to fold back along our fold line. You want to make sure that you are really on that fold line and not too much or too far off. It could really mess up the finished front fly zipper. And when it's time to do the final top stitching, I do recommend lengthening out your stitch. A longer stitch really looks better than just our standard 2.5 on the finished top stitch, but you can play around with that and see what you prefer. I'm really excited for this video, so let's get started. To install our front fly zipper, I'm gonna be using this pattern here. The first thing that you want to do is again, go ahead and transfer all of your markings. Make sure that you transfer these large circles to small circles, your notches. On the left side, you need to transfer your fold line. On the right side, you have a stitching line, this curved line here. This is the only line that I usually wait to transfer. I transfer this one when I'm getting ready to actually stitch it, and that's after the zipper and everything is installed. So that's the only one that I hold off on doing right now, but all the others, go ahead and transfer and let's move on to the first step. So the first thing that we want to do is at our large circle, you want to pin here and I'm gonna pin at my notch that's here as well. And we are going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end, and again, we're just going between the large circle and the notch. Now that we have stitched between our large circle and our notch, now we need to press along our fold line on the left side only. So on, only on the left side, I'm going to just press back along the fold line like so. And this should measure 3 eighths of an inch. You can grab a seam gauge or a ruler to confirm and double check that. But on the left side only, you wanna fold back along your fold line. So I'm gonna to go to the pressing station and go ahead and press this in place. Again, I'm only working on the left side, not the right side. So fold back along your fold line, 3 eighths of an inch and press that in place. After you have pressed along your fold line, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. On the left side, you're gonna grab your zipper and I'm gonna place it right up under the left side here that we just pressed in place. We wanna make sure that we have the pressed edge right beside the teeth. Again, the zipper is facing up and you wanna place the zipper stop at the small circle. If your zipper is longer, we can shorten that after we have it installed. So again, make sure that you have the pressed edge right beside your zipper teeth, and we can go ahead and pin that in place. Once you have it pinned, let's baste it in place. After you have basted the zipper in place, now we want to take the left fly. You want to apply it interfacing to your piece and then you want to fold it in half. I like to fold mine with the wrong sides facing so that the right side is on the outside. However, if you would like to do it with the right sides facing, then you can stitch here along the bottom as well as at the top to finish that off and then you will flip it out and it'll be clean. I like to do mine, finish mine off with the serger. So this is how I do mine. Taking your left fly piece on the inside, we are going to pin it so that the raw edges are even. You wanna make sure that you match up your circle at the bottom. Once we pin it, then we can baste it and you can baste right along your same stitch that you just put in here. I've just basted the left fly on. This is what the back of it looks like. Again, this is just basted in place. So now we can go back to the sewing machine. Again, make sure that you have it on your zipper foot and we are gonna do a permanent stitch through all layers. Make sure that you back stitch at the beginning and at the end and stop at your small dot.
Now that we have our permanent stitch in, we can go ahead and start to work on the right side. So you want to grab your right fly, and I have my interface. I've also finished off the unnotched edge of it, and I have my circle transferred here on the inside. We're going to match this up right sides facing. Make sure that you match up your notches and your small dot and you want to pin it in place. After you have it pinned in place, we can go ahead and stitch. We're gonna back stitch at the beginning and we're gonna go down and stop at the small dot. Be sure to back stitch there as well. After you have stitched on the right fly, now you want to trim away some of the seam allowance. I like to start my trim a little bit above the small dot. And I'm trimming off about a quarter of an inch. Now that we have it trimmed, we can give it a press. You want to press your seam allowance toward your fly. And then we're gonna do an understitch right here beside the seam. Once you have the right fly sewn on and understitched, you want to press it toward the inside like I've done here. You want to lap the right over the left like so. When you lap it over, you want to make sure that you are matching up the centers. Make sure you're not lapping too far over. So I'm going to grab a few pins and I'm just going to pin it right here along the edge. So now let's go to the machine. We're just going to baste it in place right here along the edge, again, through all thicknesses. Once we have basted the right over the left through all thicknesses, now we can come to the inside of the garment and finish sewing the zipper tape. You want to stitch close to the zipper teeth only on this side. Make sure that you pin this out of the way so we only have the right fly and the remaining zipper tape that we'll be sewing through. You're gonna do two stitches. One is gonna be close to the zipper tape and then one will be in the middle of the zipper tape. Let's go to the sewing machine and do those two permanent stitches now. Now that we have the other zipper tape secured to the right fly, now we can go ahead and transfer our stitching line so that we will have a guide. And if you're gonna use this pattern piece, make sure that you fold back the seam allowance. I have some chalk here and I'm just going to trace around the pattern. Now we can go ahead and just stitch right along the stitching line. And I like to lengthen out my stitch from a 2.5 to like a three. You can test it to see if you prefer a three or maybe you wanna go to 3.5, but I like to stick around a three. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch right along the line that I just transferred. Once you've done your top stitch, you can go ahead and remove your basting stitch now. Once you remove your basting stitch, you would have completed a front fly zipper. The last thing for us to do is on the inside, you want to tack the lower edges of the left front and the right front together, and then you can go ahead and shorten and trim the excess zipper if you have a long zipper. Once you have those steps done, you are all done with your front fly zipper.